Well, I don't know if you can hear on the mic, but it's just started raining. Haven't seen a deer yet. It's been first light for a while now. Heavy, heavy bit of cloud on top, so the sun's taken a while to push through. So I've had a really good chance to glass a lot of open faces and fringe country. And really thought I would have seen a deer by now, but it's just sometimes the way it goes. So. Remy and I will keep pushing on and hopefully something will come out because I need to get some dog bones and I need to get some meat for us for the freezer so hopefully we can get it done. Well, for whatever reason, I got to about 320 yards. I was just getting the rifle off, ready to ready to shoot, ready to set up the camera. And I saw their butts just cruise over the top of the ridge. And I thought, sweet, they've just fed over the other side. I'll, I'll bomb up, get to the top and take one from there. The wind was perfect the whole time. Covered my noise, got to the top and there's nothing here. They're still kangaroos feeding, so I don't think they've been spooked. I think they've just fed back into the bush. <sighs> it's just one of those mornings so far, but still got a fair bit of time left, so <sighs> I'll go to another gully system and hopefully get one. there I'll we'll just give him a little bit of time it looks like he's 100% past but I'd rather just be sure just keep an eye on him make sure he's not moving around but he was hit pretty hard shot was 270 yards and he didn't run very far before he started rolling down the hill so pretty good result it's 9 30 in the morning done a lot of K's and yeah, probably a bit of luck that I was in the right spot at the right time for him. I wasn't actually going to come up this gully, but I thought I wouldn't have a glass and he was out, so really good result. Hasn't run very far at all, probably 40, 50 yards. And shot was from 270, using 180 grain SST out of the little Kimber Hunter 308. And there he is behind me there, he's probably about, yeah, 24. Definitely hard enough though, he's in velvet, but definitely hard enough, so. Yeah, good result, the main aim today was just to come out and get some bones and some some bones for a rem and some meat for the freezer and yeah got a stag bit of a bonus so anyway it looks like it should be pretty good to get him out I'm gonna be able to get the car in pretty close here and yeah start hauling him out i'm guessing around 23 24 somewhere around there i normally work on their ears being sort of seven or eight inches long I'm looking at his ears probably go about three years up the length of the antler but yeah 
not bad for 9.30 a.m. Rem's pretty stoked about it. And yeah, I'm gonna try and set him up for some photos now without rolling him down the hill, hopefully, but we'll see how that goes. I should probably video this because I know it's gonna happen. He's gonna end up down there. Oi! I might keep that cape so stop bloody flicking it. I should have known that was going to happen. <laughs> Well, I was about to take the first load back, and then I'll be coming back in, getting the legs for REM, back straps, knife fillets for the freezer. So, really good result for the day. The hard work begins right now, and it's looking like it's about to start raining again, so I'm going to make a move. Probably won't get a heap, of, heap more footage for the rest of the trip, but anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I can stand up.